Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, February 7th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. For today's brain break and STL technique, we will be showing you a little skit on representing manners. Hello class, today we will be learning about the solar system. So first off, we have the sun. And after the sun is Mercury. Anybody know what goes after Mercury? Amalia. Saturn. No. After Venus goes what? Sonia? Ugh, whatever, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Do you think that Randy acts nicely? If you're asking someone for something, you should use words like please and thank you. Now let's try that again. Sit right back down. I will not be letting you go to the bathroom with that type of attitude. May I please go use the bathroom? Yes, you may go. Thank you. It's now time for our Word of the Day segment. Hey, Angeli, I just found out a new strategy to help us win Uno. Oh, well, hopefully it works. But, um, what does strategy mean? Oh, a strategy is what you use to achieve your goal. Oh, but I still don't get it. Basically, a fancy word for a plan. Oh, okay, now I get it. I guess I use strategies every day. Yep, pretty much. Wow, now that I think about it, maybe I may need a new strategy. Anyways, let's get some facts about Black History with Joshua. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today in Black History, we're going to be talking about Heidi McDaniel. Heidi McDaniel was born June 10, 1893. She was a singer, songwriter, and comedian, but she's best known for her role as Mammy in the film Gone with the Wind. She then went on to win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1940. She became the first African-American ever to win an Oscar. She truly paved the way for aspiring African-American actors everywhere. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Sports fans, our boys basketball team played their third game last Thursday. They played against Hollywood and won with a whopping score of 31-23. to Keep up the good work, guys. You're doing great. On another note, not all sports equipment is used for the actual competition. Some, like the helmet, offer protection for the athletes and are customized to suit many different sports and activities. Helmets were first used as protective headwear in combat and dates back to medieval times. Over time, they became necessary for a wide range of activities and sports like football, horse riding, and rollerblading, just to name a few. Most helmets today are designed for the intensity of the sport and performance. Most are made of resin or plastic and reinforced to protect the head with lightweight synthetic materials. Let's all be grateful that we have the helmet to keep our head in the game. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is vegetarian chili with beans, cornbread, mixed vegetables, applesauce, and no choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's get back to Valencia. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, Black History Month is here. Today we continue our special daily activities. The winner for the Black History Coloring Contest is Corey Graham. Congratulations. Today you can wear red and teachers can record their students doing the moonwalk. And tomorrow you can wear black and teachers can record their students doing the MC Hammer Dance. I can't wait to see all your groovy dance moves. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for 7th and 8th graders. Applications are due today. Check the flyer to see if you meet the requirements. I wish you luck so you can be a part of this awesome opportunity. Our amazing globe party is on March 16th. 
To be able to go, you need 25 reading and math and ready lessons. This challenge ends by March 11th, so let's get those lessons done so you can go to the Globe Party. Scholars, the grad venture is coming up. See the flyer for further details. Patriots, the amazing hero store is now open. Tomorrow, it's the third and fourth graders' turn to go to the store. Make sure to get there early so there's no wait. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 80 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. It's warm and a good time to practice your favorite sport. In other weather news, a Russian photographer caught an amazing sight on camera. In an abandoned weather station off a small island in Russia, many polar bears made themselves at home. At first, the weather station was used to track atmospheric conditions surrounding the area. Since the building started to decay and started falling apart, humans abandoned it. So, the polar bears took over and created a new home. If bears can start living in houses, who knows what else is possible. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for today's Hot Topic. Thank you, Randy. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Shocking news, Tom Brady has retired. In an Instagram post, he posted he would no longer make that competitive commitment anymore. In his NFL career, he won seven Super Bowls. He will always go down in NFL history. The Olympics started last week Friday and is still going on until February 20th. It features some winter sports events like figure skating, snowboarding, and ice hockey. I always love figure skating. Recently, the Lunar New Year has ended. It started January 22nd and ended last week Tuesday. This year is the year of the tiger. During the Lunar New Year, many people wore red and gold, colors that signify good luck. Hopefully the color teal has good luck. Here's the moment of truth. Raising Dion Season 2 will be released tomorrow. Raising Dion was originally released October 4th, 2019. Ever since the show was released, people all around the world have been obsessed with this second grader. This sounds like a good show. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to Peyton for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mahalia Solomon, Xavier Tingling, Aaron Ganey, and Natalia Roberts. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Scholars, hear your pot's expectations they represent. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Only and Miss Stone. You both had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, who was the main protagonist in Pokemon? The correct answer is Ash Ketchum. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Which city is situated on two continents? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!